Hi, this is Mato, and this video will show you a game between Richard Rapport and Ahmed Adli. This is the game from FIDE World Team Championship that was played in Armenia in 2015. Richard Rapport had white pieces, and he started with big three. Black to move, how would you continue? E5 and D5 are highly recommended moves. But Ahmed Adli played A5, E4, A4, B4, E6, threatening bishop takes on B4. How to defend the pawn? Rapport defended with bishop to b2. So if bishop takes on b4, bishop takes on g7. Ahmed Adli played d5. a3. d takes on e4. Knight to c3. Knight to f6. White to move. Richard Rapport played super sharp g4 move threatening g5 c5 b5 h6 preventing g5 bishop to g2 rook to a5 queen to e2 protecting the pawn with a second piece bishop to d7 rook to b1 queen to c7 bishop takes on e4 Knight takes bishop, queen takes knight, bishop takes on b5, knight takes on b5, rook takes knight, queen takes on a4. Material is equal. Who is better? Black played a move that gave him huge advantage. What is the move? Please pause the video and find the best move for black. What did you find? Ahmed Adli played queen to c6, defending the rook, threatening queen takes rook on h1. In some variations, black is threatening rook takes rook, check, winning the queen later on. Knight to f3. black to move. How would you continue now if you had black pieces? Would you capture the knight? Ahmed Adli played the best move. Bishop to d6. Queen takes on f3 is very bad in view of queen takes on b5 check. Bishop to d6 is a little trap. White to move. White thought very hard, couldn't find a very good move now. He considered castling, of course he considered taking the pawn on g7. Let's see what happens if bishop takes on g7. Can you see now the best move for black? Then rook takes on b1 check, winning the queen. Huh? If castling Black would castle too, and after say king to g2, queen to b6, black is much better. So Richard Laporte played king to e2. Looks funny, but this is actually very good move under circumstances. Defending the knight, connecting rooks. Now white is threatening a bishop takes on g7. So this is not a bad move. Of course, that move has a tiny downside. Tiny downside is that the white king may become a sitting duck, waiting to be shot. Is it a tiny downside? The game continued. C4, allowing white 
to capture the pawn on g7 with bishop. And white did White was counting on this continuation. Rook takes on b1. Queen takes on c6. Knight takes on c6. Rook takes on b1. Rook to g8. Bishop takes on h6. And white is better. However, black has a better move than rook takes rook on b1. Please pause the video and find the best move for black. What did you find? The killer move is check winning the queen. Knight takes rook. Queen takes queen. Bishop takes rook black to move. What is the best move for black now? Ahmed Adli wanted to give check on e4 to win a piece. So he played c3. Better was queen takes on c2. We have c3 intending queen to e4 check f3, queen to f4, threatening bishop takes knight and after bishop takes, queen takes. d takes on c3. Black to move. What would you do if you had black pieces? Ahmed Adli played bishop to c5. If bishop takes on e5, rook to b4, attacking the queen, queen to g5, then h4, queen to g6, bishop takes on e5. It is not clear who is winning now. Maybe white. Maybe black. Hmm? Is black winning? So, Ahmed Adli played a better move. Bishop to c5. Rook to b5 attacking the bishop. Knight to d7. Knight takes on d7. Black to move. How would you continue now? Would you capture the knight? If king takes knight, rook takes bishop. Ahmed Adli played the queen to e3 check. King to d1. Queen takes pawn on f3 check. Rook stayed. White rook stayed on h1 to defend the pawn. And the cost is high. The rook is now the target of the queen. King to d2. Bishop to e3 check. King to d3. Discover check. King to c4. Queen takes rook. White to move. Perhaps the best move is knight to b6. White got dizzy from calculating too many crazy variations. Played king to d4 and resigned in view of very simple continuation. King takes knight. And let's play one more dizzy move for white. Black to move and to checkmate in one. Queen to d5, checkmate. And let's go back to this very interesting moment of the game at move 18. This is the moment when black set a trap. Did you see the winning move in this position? If you did, congratulations. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.